Hi guys, Wayne here for the Let's Play Kit Gaming channel and welcome to episode 1 of my Walking Dead Survival Instinct Let's Play. Potentially a walkthrough? I don't know because to be quite honest I'm playing this blind because I couldn't afford to purchase it on release. Now as you guys saw, or if you haven't saw, then please go ahead and check out my HD 1080p test as well as my high definition audio test because quite frankly I suck at this game right now. So. I've already played a little bit of the herd mode and I love the artwork in this game already. I love the emphasis on the walker kills, the critical kills and how Daryl completely owns everything with that knife of his. But I didn't see a crossbow in the herd mode game so fingers crossed considering there's a crossbow right in front of me that makes me do this face. Then hopefully we get a crossbow at some point in the actual game. So. As a huge Walking Dead nerd and a insanely manic Daryl Dixon and Mel Dixon fan, let's go ahead and hit new game right now. Starting a new game will overwrite your previous save continue. Well, I've only ever watched the introduction video, so it's hardly progress, is it, Mr. Game? So, okay. So, I watched the introduction video, the first little bit in the game, and uh, honestly, I do like what I see. It looks like it's going to be a little bit linear, and I have heard terrible reviews about this game, but quite frankly, I do not give a flying fuck about reviews. If I like the game, then I like the game, and I like a lot of games that general reviewers dislike. And as I said, I'm a huge Walking Dead fan, so I'm it. probably gonna like this game. Dixon, it comes at me. You watch where you shoot that. So I got just a little bit past this short introduction video here. Uh, from the herd mode failure that I did, I know roughly how to control the left analog stick to move. It's the general Call of Duty controls. Left trigger to aim, right trigger to shoot. Um, I'm uncertain what the left and right bumpers do at this present moment in time. Oh, the right bumper appears to be a block of some sort. Uh, the Y button allows me to change weapons. Excellent, so I've got a knife. Uh, B was crouch. Yep, that's correct. Uh, X, I'm not sure yet, and A is jump. So let's get a sprint on, guys. Let's see what this corner, what awaits around the corner. It's probably going to be a zombie, considering I'm playing a Walking Dead game. So, oh, that scared me. The red arrow points towards your current objective. Your current objectives can be reviewed in the pause menu. Okay, let's press pause. Search the creek bed. Meet up with Book. Cabot Ridge. Cabot Ridge is a secluded mountainside area offering but a few hunters, blinds, rundown camp houses, and it's rumoured moonshine stills. Excellent. I wouldn't mind a little bit of moonshine right now. That's not the way. So let's head back. Oh, there's a nasty blood trail. So it's going to be a zombie, let's be honest with ourselves, guys. Oh, fucking hell. No. Are you a zombie or are you. A... Oh, your book. Okay. Uh, I didn't crouch down, so I might have made too much noise. Best you crouch to keep quiet. So I've got to crouch to keep quiet, apparently. Great advice there, book. Common sense much? So if the general zombie rules apply, it's going to be, as soon as I get around a corner, one's going to pop out and bite me or something. Now, who am I actually controlling? Because this... It's probably Daryl. Look at that sh uh, flannel shirt. It's not going to be Merle. Can you even play as Merle in this... Game? I'm not sure. I'm excited to find out. Oh, there's a deer. Oh, you prick! Come here! Son of a bitch. Right, so... Something's gone wrong. Buck's screaming. Ah, so that noise would be the sound of an individual being torn apart and zombies by the sounds of things. Left trigger to aim down the sights. Right, let's get a zombie. Oh, there's a zombie. Okay. Off with your head, kind sir! Right, we got another bro here. Your head. Oh shit, there's more coming in the distance. Headshots! The rules apply. Oh son of a bitch, they're coming from everywhere! Ah ha! No, no, no! Give me a knife, give me a knife! Right, did I die? Yep, that would be death already. Oh! Apparently, maybe storyline death. Dixon! Dixon. Uh oh. So it's A Dixon who is now dead. Ah, oh, Dixon! Ah, oh, no, man! Help me! No! Daryl! You okay? What? Oh, that's Daryl. There's oh, the man. Dad, no. We can. Well, we could. So, uh, yes. Too busted up. Apparently. Nothing can be done. That now, was Daryl's so father. Jesus. Well, in, in the television series, uh, Daryl and Mel didn't actually get on with their father. Uh, both of them took multiple beatings from their abusive dead. So maybe this 
is a little bit inaccurate, or maybe it's just a, a unique twist on the storyline. Let's look at it with optimism. My Dixon father. Oh, I'm very excited for this. This, I very much enjoyed that little introduction piece. And, uh, oh, Norman Reedus, Michael Rooker, Daryl and Merle, I'm very excited to play through this. This has been on my wish list now, guys, since it came out this past April, and sadly I've been unable to afford it. But uh, thanks to a recent minor windfall that allowed me to upgrade my hardware and purchase a few games to play through, I am now able to play this game that I have been, as I've said, excited to play for a long time. Regardless of terrible reviews, my review thus far is that I'm quite enjoying it, to be honest, so take that for what it's worth as a huge Walking Dead fan. There's, there's Merle Dixon. So we got Daryl. Got an angry Daryl. Angry Daryl. And there's a knife on the table. Can I pick that up or? Yes, I can. Uh, press X to pick up an empty knife. Okay, I shall now. Melee attacks. Press the right trigger to swing the weapon and hold it to deliver a power attack. Melee weapons are good for taking out walkers without making much noise. Okay, sports drink X. Sports drinks and MREs can be used to restore your condition. Once you have equipped a restorative item, press right trigger to use it. So we found it in the uh, other game, the herd mode mode, herd mode mode, that we can use the directional buttons on the D-pad to uh, equip our medical items. Is there anything else knocking about in this general area? Nope. Right, let's get outside then. Press X to open the door. Ah, Daryl, come here. Oh, Jess, you're the guy who's been, eat, been bitten on. Pick up a hammer, commercial MRE, so I'll, the hammer's probably a weapon as well, let's check that out in a sec. Uh, MRE for condition again. We gotta work Lots of sports plan. drinks. Yes, I'm aware we've got to work out a plan, Jess. We gotta That's what usually out. happens in a zombie apocalypse game. You work out plans, bro. What's this? Collectible. It's a squirrel! Okay, let's try and kill the squirrel, which we can't do. Dinner time. Right, so we've collected that. One out of 16 collectibles. I wasn't aware that there were collectibles in this game, so that's going to be fun. I'm quite looking forward to we this, even more so. Right, hi Jess, how are you? Stab you in the face <gasps> we again. Gotta work up a plan. In the eye. Oh, let's make you the governor. Let's make you the governor. Daryl, come here. Governor Jess Collins. Stab you again. Okay, you've been bitten, bro. Darryl, Let me just here. sort that out for you, make you Merle governor. Governor Merle Dixon. Governor... Jess Merle oh, come Collins. Here. Yeah, I'm just gonna talk to him now. Well, that amused me for a second. Like if you told me about it, I'd call you a liar. Listen, there's more of them. Calling. Oh no, we gotta go. Yeah, the only thing we gotta do is kill every last one of them. Daryl, I know you're upset. Yeah, you would be upset. Your dad's just that murked like off. A whole lot of them. We need to go now. Gather up as much as you can and meet me at the truck. Let's go then. Daryl, remember what we learned about him? Head trauma. Attack the brain. Remember. Only thing we know that kills him. And be quiet, sneaking out the back door. Don't let him see you. Right, okay. I know from the reviews that I've read that this game does have quite an emphasis on stealth, so that's quite exciting. And from the herd mode, I can tell that if I'm not careful, I'm probably going to die. Well, that's not the back door. So we've just been instructed to escape via the back door. And we now have to find three fuel canisters. Now, I assume that that little compass point on the map is... Oh, crap. The little compass point on the map is directing us to the location where we've got to go. So I pinged up... Yeah, hold the right bumper to execute. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so this should make killing a little bit easier. But there's a lot of them in that area. So how are we going to work our way around this? The first can is around here, apparently. So let's get a sprint on. Oh, shit. Right, I shouldn't have ran, of course. Should you stab you in the head? And again. Eat Daryl knife, bitch! <laughs> Fuck yeah! Come on! Fucking... Well, she's definitely dead. Just thought I'd double check. Right, so we... Oh, there's another walker. We've gotta be very quiet. Yeah! Right, bomb to execute. Okay, so we now have a gun as well. I press X to pick up bolt action rifle. Okay. Ranged weapons generate a lot of noise when fired and can attract other walkers into the area. Pick up six rifle ammunition. Oh, there's a fuel can as well. Fuel is vital to keeping your group on the road and without it, your journey will end. While you can search for fuel in each area, survivors can also be sent out to find additional fuel. I like the sound of that system. 
So apparently that seems to be the fuel meter that just popped up. Oh, right. So I could shoot this bro. But shooting makes noise, so let's just stab away. Fucking move, dickhead. Right, he's dead, and I'm running low on health. So let's try out this uh, sports drink. Uh, what was it? Right trigger. Yes? Okay, so let's fill it a little bit. How do I get back to my weapon? Uh, that would be the Y button. Okay. Sprint, but be careful, sprint. Careful sprinting, Mr. Dixon. You beautiful bastard. Right, there's a son of a bitch just sneaking over to my own gas canister. That's mine, bro. That's not for you. Yeah! Silent execution. Just like Bear Grylls. Only that was a zombie and not a snake. We should make a Bear Grylls apocalypse game. We all know that that son of a bitch would survive. Drinking his own piss. And things that he does to snakes. That might not be accurate. I haven't watched Bear Grylls in a long time. So. Rifle ammo again. Look here. Glass bottles. Oh shit, something's coming up towards me, so thank fuck for this little pause thing. Items such as flares and glass bottles can be used to distract walkers. Once you have equipped a distraction item, press the right trigger to throw it, but move away quickly, because there's one following me. Oh, fucking hell, move, move, move. You scary bastard. The walkers in this game are terrifying. Right, there's one down. Come on, you ugly bitch. Grapple. Aim at the walker's head and press the right trigger to deliver a single killing blow to the walker. Before being grappled, you can shove a walker away to prevent it from attacking you. Okay, so that's the aim thing that I sucked at in the herd mode. Right, so let's aim for the head. Aim for the head. Yes, there we go. Aim for the head, aim for the head. There. Okay, so that, this system makes sense now. Bitch. How can you grapple Daryl Dixon? Just like the angry fangirls and me. Well, that's morbidly brilliant. Uh, even though the bodies uh, don't stay. Right, so we can distract these sons of bitches. Is there a level up system in this? I'm not sure. By the way, we have now found all the fuel canisters, so let's throw a glass bottle over here to distract these sons of bitches. Meet Jess back at the truck. Right, I'm gonna duck and crouch behind this car and hopefully get a sneaky vantage around this area while the walkers are attracted to the noise that I just made. Now I could quite easily get a sneak attack on these guys, but do I really want to risk it with them? Nope because there's more here. So we've got more glass bottles here. If I throw that over there, collect some more. Well, something found me, didn't it? Did it not? No. Okay. Get a move on, yes, I am trying to, Jess, but I want to make sure I get all these glass bottles for future reference. You angry bastard with one arm, potentially, in a, in a little while. Right, what's in this cabin? There's going to be something in this cabin, isn't there? So let's go ahead and see. Son of a bitch, let's just get out of here. Right. Is there going to be anything in that cabin? Yeah, I'm not going to stick around to find out, guys. Let's go! Jess, get a move on, you son of a bitch. Did I die? Yeah, I died. I died. Right, note to self. Do not look in that cabin because you die. Right. Now let's try again. Finding a weapon generates a lot... Firing a weapon generates a lot of noise. Right, so I'm going to try not to die in this playthrough for obvious reasons, guys, but... Yeah, rookie mistake. When escape is there, do not go ahead looking in a cabin. Right. All fuel cans found, so let's just get the hell out of here this time. I know, Jess, I can hear you, bro. Right, so I just threw that, and Jess isn't interested. The zombies aren't interested, the walkers aren't interested, because Jess just beeped here. his horn like a douchebag. Right. I shall execute you, get sir. And you, you shall die too, horribly and gruesomely. Eat knife! Right, so we've got another one coming after us. Uh, let's just quickly ingest a sports drink, I think. Quickly! It said quickly. Right, so we've got to aim for the head. There we go! Oh, that one was right up close to the camera. Right trigger again. Yes, you shall not... You shall not ever kill Daryl Dixon. Right, so we've got a quick chance to investigate in this little area here to see what we can find. Oh, son of a bitch, this is the cabin we started at. Well, that was pointless, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, well, well, now we know. Let me get in the truck. Hurry up! Yes, I'm trying to hurry up, but I, I don't know how to get in the car yet, so I've got a hammer. 
Well, that's that's quite brutal. How do I get in, Jess? How do I get in the car? Jess, let me in the truck. There we go, yes, so we finally did it. So it turns out that cabin is actually the cabin that we started in. Jess Collins joined the group. Single cab truck found, and we collected the squirrel statue. That's fun. Right, so... Travel map. Here you can select your next destination and how to get there. Back roads consume more fuel, but provide additional scavenging opportunities. While taking highways, conserves fuel, but bypass scavenging opportunities. Okay, that makes sense. Right, okay. Time of day, afternoon. The gateway to the hills is a last chance supply stop for hunters headed to the mountain. And home to the friendly community of Dream Away Groves Park. So that's the only destination we can select, it would appear. So let's press A. Right. Back roads. High fuel usage, but stop often for supplies. Chance to break down low. Chance to find supplies high. Medium, medium. Medium, medium fuel usage and occasionally stop for supplies. High, low. Low fuel usage and only stop when necessary. So we've got a high chance to break down. Uh, I think I'll take the back roads because uh, the back roads appears to be using less fuel. High chance to find supplies and a low breakdown chance. So yeah, let's press A for the back roads. Let's see what this holds for us. Not a damn thing. My phone ain't working either. Hey, about your dad? I don't know what to say about it. Then don't. Leave it be. And we gotta tell Merle what happened. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, we, we need to find Merle. But we ought to warn people first. What? Go to the cops? <sighs> Please. We gotta go get Merle. Merle, he's... Well, he's just not right. What'd you say to me, old man? Merle's ten times the man you are. All right, all right. Just seems you boys turn hay into shit when you're together. <laughs> right, so apparently we are en route to rescue Merle Dixon, Daryl's brother. Wherever the hell he may be. Travel Hub. Here you can manage your survivors, transfer items to your vehicle, and select the items you want to take with you into the next area. Press A to continue. Okay. Right, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, where have I got in my inventory? Let's take a look. Press A to select the backpack. Your vehicle inventory provides an area for you to store weapons, resources, and supplies. Items can be transferred between your personal and vehicle inventories before entering an area. Right. So, let me... Press X on the hammer. Blunt melee weapon. Claw hammer used for driving nails. Damage light, reach close, and swing speed fast. Bladed melee weapon is the hunting knife. Used for skinning animals. Light, close, medium. So that was light, light, close, fast. Light, close, medium. Right, so it would appear that the uh, hammer is a bit better than the hunting knife. Let's keep both of them for now. Uh, bolt action rifle, glass bottles, and fuel. Uh, if I deposit... If I deposit the fuel, because obviously I'm not going to need the fuel when I'm out and about scavenging, surely. Is that correct? Yeah, there's nothing changing the fuel bar at the top, so let's deposit the fuel for now. I shall keep the sports drinks and the commercial MREs and the gun. Uh, hunting knife and the hammer. So we've got 6 out of 10, which means we've got 3 more inventory slots. So that's it for that one. Now, where else have we got? Survivors, heal, equip, and send out survivors. Select Jess. Here you can heal, equip, and send survivors to find resources. Each survivor has traits that can affect the risk level of the group. Lower the risk level by sending more survivors out and giving them weapons. Jess Collins. Traits can't be dismissed and tough. Equipped weapon, no weapon. Tasks stay at the car. Right, so Jess doesn't have a weapon. That means that I should probably give him... Uh, let's give him the hammer. Right. Equipped weapon. Press A. Hammer and bolt action rifle. So Jess now has a hammer equipped. I like this. This is good. Tasks stay at the car. Find fuel, find food, find ammunition, and stay at the car. So let's get him to find fuel, because our tank is running low. We need more fuel. Group scavenger risk plus 25%. Would that lower if I... Yes. Right, so we have a higher risk if the survivor doesn't have a weapon equipped. So note to you guys, if you play this, and myself for future reference, uh, collect weapons and store them in your... Inventory until you give them to other survivors. If we do get other survivors, I'd like to think we do. Uh, we shall see. Task find fuel. Can't be dismissed. Okay. Right, so. Our next task is to go into the next area and do the first proper level outside of the introduction level, I suppose. So, yep. 
Uh, we shall continue that in episode 2. I really hope you guys have enjoyed episode 1. I'm very much enjoying this game right now, so I'm very much looking forward to playing through episode 2 myself. So yes, guys, I have been your host, Wayne, for the Let's Play Cat Gaming channel, and I now wish you all the best in your future endeavours, wherever they may hold in today and tomorrow and the future. But yep, yeah, episode 2 is coming, guys, so yeah. Until next time, my friends, Wayne here for the Let's Play Cat Gaming channel, hoping you enjoy my 1080p and high-definition audio. Goodbye, my friends.